So we've been working at Wheelhouse with your R&D team very closely, George, for quite a period now. Are you seeing uh, a great deal more activity in this space in the market? Yeah, I think, I'm going to say again, but the vertical growth chart means that there needs to be a trusted partner who can test the products, test the integration. And our R&D team kind of moves around teams at RFA all the time so people get to test new products as well as keeping their hand in on the learning side. Um, but it's really about making sure that we're working with partners in the sector, like Wheelhouse, but also with some of the other software providers to help build APIs. Uh, and as a sort of a peer group within the sector, we're always sharing ideas. Um, but we've made a decision to invest quite heavily back into R&D to make sure that we're evolving. Um, because as thought leaders for the sector, we need to be able to know as much as we can about what's next. Um, and this is the best way to do it. Uh, try and test. Sure. So in the various projects you're doing with us and, of course, with others, be they amongst our peer group, be they amongst the investment management community, there'll be learnings coming out of every project. And I'm interested to hear how you can leverage those learnings uh, that you're making elsewhere, for example, when working with us. Yeah, well, I think, you know, we've talked about the fact that Portal is going to evolve all the time. Um, and I've been talking to you and your team about ideas that I've got for features that it can bring. And a lot of that comes from our experience with other projects. Um, you know, COVID's actually forced quite a few projects on us because we had to do things fast for the clients. Um, from a basic standpoint, if you can imagine, we suddenly went from going to clients' offices to help them do things to having to go to their houses. So we actually had to very quickly build a track and trace app of our own to give to our clients so that if we had an engineer going to someone's house in the morning, we could trace whose house they went to next so that if anyone got COVID, we could notify, etc. That then evolved for when the larger firms were coming back, sort of 200 plus user firms, to the ability to use the app to book slots for lunch or book a bike rack or a shower or things like that. So it's just the technology is evolving all the time. A lot of what we're doing on the, on the PE side uh, of our business is about automating deal flow. Uh, we use SharePoint quite heavily for that. But all of these elements are coming from feedback from our clients about what they need. So I'm envisaging all of this coming into a sort of collected ideas pot that we can look at each month together and work out which ones we think are going to add the most value, which ones can be quick wins for our clients, which ones we need more feedback on, and just evolve that together based on what we're hearing in, in the sector. Very interesting.